welcome everyone to this Blender 2.8 course on how to create a lightsaber from start to finish. I'm Neil, the instructor behind 3D Tudor, and this short course is designed to cram as many technical skills into a course while still producing a really great fun project. In the end, you'll create a fully functioning lightsaber and render it out exactly the same as you see here. And as a bonus, you'll even learn how to animate it and bring it to life. One of the awesome things about this course, as long as you have a basic understanding of the Blender UI, you will easily be able to follow along, as this course is designed for beginners up to mid-level Blender users. At 3D Tudor we created an innovative system in our courses where every new key is explained through example and visuals. This makes the course easy to follow along and doesn't interrupt the course flow. The course also comes with two references which were created in Photoshop specifically for this course. So there's no chance of getting lost as you dive in. In this course we're going to be creating two distinct looking lightsabers from start to finish. We'll go through every part of the modeling, from creating basic primitives to more complex things like modifiers. You will learn most of the Blend UI in a very short space of time. And with just this one project, which is designed to teach you most of the 3D modeling fundamentals in one course. UV mapping is one of the most important parts of designing any model. It's what helps make a model look great, and in this course we spend a lot of time going through how to unwrap every part of this model. We look at marking seams and incorporating sharps and how to get the most out of our UV islands. The course comes with a small compact library of textures and materials, available for download totally free. These textures are high quality PBR 2K textures, with all of their maps included. Having great textures allows you to focus on developing your skills in modeling and UV mapping. Within the course, we take a deep dive into how the maps and node system works within Blender to get the most out of your materials in the future. Within the course, you'll find a thorough breakdown of how to set up and light your own lightsaber. I knew when creating this course that I wanted students to walk away with a portfolio piece that would look and feel as realistic as possible. We spend a lot of time in this course getting the most out of the new Blender EV rendering engine. Finally, in the end, I felt we couldn't create a realistic lightsaber without it looking the part. The last part of the course is devoted to animating out our lightsabers. This part of the course is aimed at beginners to animation and is short and compact, while still giving you key animation skills that you can use on your next Blender project. I think you'll really enjoy this course whether you're new to Blender or an old hand. If you haven't done so, check out the 3D Tudor library of courses from medieval to sci-fi. I'm sure there's one there that you'll love. And with that said, enjoy the course. Happy modeling everyone. Mm -hmm. 